Grigory, two in a row, one of them against the defending champion. This uh, victory must feel quite sweet, especially with the black pieces. Yeah, yeah, feels feels great. Didn't, didn't expect it uh, to happen, and uh, especially so quickly. So, it's especially because it felt like out of the opening, sure, you equalized, but it didn't feel like you were going to get much more than that. And yet, the game at some point ended in a couple of moves. We missed it. <laughs> we were like, okay, what happened here? It was a draw? Yeah, like, what exactly You happened? see, uh, you are aided by computers, so your feeling is different. So yes. I don't see a computer evaluation. So I felt like I had initiative. Mm -hmm. But of course, I didn't know whether it's uh, more uh, than for equality. But it was, I, I was hoping so. And uh, you could notice uh, right before uh, I played the final combination, I started repeating moves. Mm -hmm. So I was very seriously considering just taking a draw by repetition. But then I saw this idea, which, I, which happened in the game and which I did not expect to happen. Um, I saw this variation, but I was sure, you know, he's not going to move the knight from d2. He had other moves. Um, and uh, I thought it's going to be... And ju just before we get to that point, I think this was a crucial moment when you took on d4 and you decided to break with d5. How did you come to this conclusion? What was your assessment? Tell us a bit about this position. Uh, obviously, I felt like uh, my development advantage is very important. Uh, I have uh, three minor pieces developed versus his only one. Mm -hmm. uh, so. As uh, the concept goes, when you have development advantage, open position up. Mm -hmm. So I tried to do a, go for a pawn break to trade pawns and open position up. Uh, I also emphasize while teaching, activity is much more important than pawn weaknesses. I didn't care about the pawn on e6. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, tried to open and activate my pieces as much as possible. Even at this point, knight d2, you emphasized keeping the grip on his uh, right, development. Right. Uh, uh, bishop b4 is actually a prophylactic move. It, it's obviously not easy move to play because bishop is very active on c5. Uh, but he's about to complete his development with knight e4, mm -hmm. and I absolutely have to stop this move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even at the expense of a pawn, very nicely assessed, I have to say. Rook to e4, uh, king to h8, another good prophylactic move. Right. Queen to b3, knight to d3, and this was the moment, probably rook to g4 was the only way for him to maintain some sort of a balance in the position. Not an easy move to make. Right. Very difficult. I, I, I didn't see this move, and I'm sure he where, didn't see Where this are you move. going with the rook? Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Typical computer move looks like just a bad move. But I guess now, after you told me, I see certain logic behind this move. Because the, 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 uh, uh, the, the main idea is that e4 is a crucial square for the knight, because it, it protects f2, it, it's going to jump on g5. But wherever rook goes on e file, it's going to be attacked by my pieces. So yeah. I guess... That's the point of rook g4. It's but such it, a strange move. Yeah, it is a very difficult move to make. Rook to e2 makes the most sense just because you're defending the right, knight, right. the pawn on f2. And now you uh, repeat it once. This is the repetition you were talking about. And you decide to go rook c8. Immediately yeah. the blunder came. Right, right, knight right. So, so almost all knight moves. Uh, 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 knight uh, uh, e4. This uh, is the most natural, I guess. But now you have some taken knight d4. Is that it? Uh, Yes. Yes, take a knight d4. Right, right. Uh, maybe even I was thinking about knight d4 right away. Uh, but uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, knight d4 also works. I right, think it's just right. easier to calculate. Well, right, right. But the move I was calculating, the move I was expecting was queen d1. Again, not easy move to make, very passive looking move. But I was expecting this move and I was calculating variation knight d4, Knight takes d4, knight takes f2, rook takes f2, queen takes d4, and now either queen e1, queen f1, uh, rook c2 here. So oh, yeah. uh, I, I wasn't sure what's going on, but but it, I was. It seems uh, it's good. <laughs> it seems to be good. I, I, I was hoping, yeah, that that something will good will happen there. Yeah, knight f3. Actually, you can continue sacrificing and then pin. Pin it to win it, right, as they say. Right, right. Uh, Bishop uh, that, C5. That's a variation I was hoping for. Yeah, no. Uh, great game. Uh, it finished uh, in an anticlimactic way, but still, great result for you. Great start to the tournament. Gregory, congratulations. Thank um, you. Yes, yeah, sir. Any questions? Congratulations too, Gregory. Uh, Thank very you. nice Thank start. You.
And uh, 